Get hydrated, Jared. You know, we always... Do you have water? I don't have a beverage. Oh, bro, you're going to get your beverage. I, whose water is this? That's mine. <laughs> no, I don't want a stranger's water. Yeah. I don't want to stop this, though. We're already going. It's okay. Right. I can I can last an hour of talking. You sure? I'm a strong man. I just hope by the end of the episode, you're going to be like SpongeBob. I don't need it. Water. Maybe I should get some water. I, I don't want to make that noise. As I make that noise, I realize yeah, I don't want to. In the garage. In the garage? Yeah. In the bigger fridge? Top of the fridge. Hello and welcome to the Untranslatable Podcast. We are here recording episode 175, and this episode is our reunion episode. I am back in Michigan, here in person with my boy Jared, and we are excited to bring you a new episode. And uh, what are we going to talk about today, Jared? Hashtag chat. Uh, <laughs> hashtag n- no quarantine Chad is back. It's good to see you, Chad. <laughs> what we're going to talk about, Chad is um first of all your trip back how's how, welcome back thank you sir how was your trip it was long it was over 30 hours but i made it and here we are so multiple times you've told me 32 hours and i've been trying to do that math because that makes no sense to me i'm gonna be honest with you i'm uh, this is how long i imagine this trip going you started in kuda bali correct yep flew out of denpasar Flew out of Denpasar to um, to Korea, Seoul, uh-huh. Korea. Seoul, Korea. I imagine that's going to take you six hours? Seven hours. Seven hours, okay. You get there, you have a layover of, let's say, three hours. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Correct, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to imagine flight from uh, Seoul, Korea to Detroit. That's going to take you about 12 and a half hours. Yep. So how does that add up to 32 hours? It's a great question. According to my travel app, it said 32 hours of travel. No, no, I'm pointing to your microphone because you're... Oh, according to my travel app, it said 32 hour travel. But maybe it's more like 23 hours. I'm not sure. Maybe you just can't read. Maybe not. Uh, But please, before we uh, continue on, uh, spread a little love. Please follow us on Instagram, Untranslatable Podcast. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Untranslatable1, the number one. Now, out of any time, is a good time to mention to watch us on YouTube because we're next to each other. There's a real camera in front of us. There's real spread a little love, love. being spread. You can almost feel it. Like uh, There's an aura around us. Not There's no lights on in this room, actually. It's completely dark in here for Just us. Just good vibes. But I think if you see, we might be illuminated. You can also um, give us some st- five-star reviews. That would be great. We love them. We need them. We need the validation. We need people to know that we matter because we do. Um, what kind of food did you have on the airplane? That's a, that's a good question. Um, I actually didn't eat on the flight from Bali to Seoul. I slept. Mm. Was uh, that just like a no- essentially a normal style plane? Like it wasn't. You didn't feel like you were on an international style flight plane. It wasn't as big. Right. Three it and three. Like, no. Uh, two, three, and two. Okay, so it's still a pretty yeah. big plane. Yeah. Sh- okay, yeah. okay. But then the one from uh, Seoul to Detroit was three four three. Sure, sure, sure. A lot, that a makes lot sense. bigger. Yeah. Um, oh, that's huge. Yeah. I feel like are the the ones to Europe are those aren't those usually like two four two? Could be three four three. That seems. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that one before. Yep. Okay, so that has nothing to do with food. Nope. No, it does not. <laughs> so I I slept I slept uh, on the first flight. So I don't really know what the food was. The second flight, um, they had some really good stuff. They had uh, pasta. They had chicken mm. breast with... It was uh, actually sauce. really good? Are you seriously? I mean, I had the pasta, penne pasta. For an airplane. It, yeah, it was decent. You, tomato sauce. For an airplane. Yeah. Okay, because you said was, really good, and I, I need, we need it to... It wasn't bad. It wasn't if, bad. If you were to get this at a restaurant, would you be like, not bad? Or would you be like, someone how, how needs much, to get fired? How much did I, how much did I pay for it? <clears throat> 15 bucks D- disappointed for sure disappointed. okay okay it's too small of a portion size for that much money 10 bucks uh, i think seven bucks would be where i'd be but but, that, but now you're talking about size we're talking okay okay forget it but i'm trying to get the, on the, the quality the of it quality now you're talking right. about the, size the throw me all off right. all right all right uh, what airline were you on uh delta delta's good yeah delta's good they do international pretty well yeah I'm looking forward to Lufthansa when I go to Europe because um, I, I used to take them more back in the day, 
and they're they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, did you have to go through? What was security like? What was customs like? Did you have to uh, any any temperature related things? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. When I went to get my boarding pass, it took quite a while. They in Kuda or in, in, in Korea? Bali, in Bali. Okay. They were flipping through my passport and they were asking me a lot of questions about being in China. Oh, huh. um, hmm. yeah. They're like, <laughs> "Is this an exit or entry one?" Um, so. Exit, please, if that whatever helps me get right. out of here. Right. And so uh, I explained to him, though, that I had been out of the country for 22 days at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, you said that clearly, 22 days? I did, yes. <laughs> I made sure they knew. Uh, A little too rehearsed there, son. <laughs> <laughs> um, look at my passport, Jake. Look at the passport. Um, oh, I checked. Trust me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting J- sick. Jared didn't want to come in here. That's right. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, it was okay. I did... I made a big snafu though, Jared. I got to the airport way too early. So I extended oh. my checkout from the hotel until 5 p.m., but my flight wasn't until 11.45. See, usually you'd think, all right, getting to the airport is not ideal, especially for someone like me, but it's not the worst thing, especially if it's an international flight. Mm-hmm. But theoretically, you're trying to spend as little time in the airport as possible. Is that what your thinking is? Well, in, in Bali, there were no cases of sure. coronavirus. So that makes you feel a little bit more... Um, calm, mm-hmm. spending more time at the airport. Um, but I mean, I got there with all my luggage and it's like, what am I going to do? Just get in a cab and go somewhere else for a couple hours. So I just right. sat at a coffee shop, had dinner and uh, watched some YouTube videos and then finally went through security and got my boarding pass. How's the Bali airport? It's pretty good. It's small. Okay. Um, but it's, it's but that's bad. good. I've been to a small airport internationally and it's sometimes... Customs feels no faster than if you're like coming back to the U.S. from somewhere. Right. So that's nice. Um, okay, I had another question. So in the U.S., when you came back, mm-hmm. usually the Americans are good to the Americans. I yeah. never have any issues at customs when I come back to no the U.S. No issues here. They didn't even look at you twice. Nope. She oh, said, man. "Well, she said, where are you coming from?" And I said, "Indonesia, because that's uh, where that's true. From. That's true. Yeah. And so, so she said, "Okay, welcome home." And I was like, "Thank you, man." <laughs> you. Sp- that's ran right. out of the That's airport. Right. <laughs> I heard an eagle a screech in the background. Uh, born in the USA, but Bruce Springsteen was blaring. Uh, of speakers. course it was. Of course it was. All I saw was red, white, and blue in front of my face. You know, typical. But no, it all went. That really was a uh, that was a heat stroke uh, from the uh, fever he had from the oh, oncoming. <laughs> um, Those were fever dreams, people. Right. Oh man, I um, did have some weird dreams on the plane. So, uh, oh, really? Yeah, just some weird ones. Like I what? Even, I don't even remember them now, but I just, you know that feeling when you have a dream and you wake up and you just know it was a weird dream? I can have a weird dream on a airplane, too, because I think if I'm asleep, which is rare on an airplane, mm-hmm. I think that different um, setting Altitudes. for me, uh, I don't know if it's an altitude-related thing, but the different setting... Um, can you turn it up just a little bit? My headphones, turn my headphones up. But turn, yeah, there we go. The different altitude... Uh, that's uh, yeah. I, I I don't know why you. Hey, Chad thinks he's hilarious. People, <laughs> uh, the different altitude. I know. Excuse me. The, like in the different setting, it kind of throws off my dream dream right. game. How's your jet lag? Are you sleepy? Super sleepy. Right now. Yeah. I'm not boring you, am I? You are no, not at all. No, it's weird. I hit a window at like seven seven thirty around there, mm. and that's when I realized like, oh yeah, I came from completely different time zone. Sure. Um, you know, I and I think it's probably going to take about 12, 13, maybe 14 days to get readjusted to the time change. Okay. All right. Listen, um, I'm glad you're home. Me I'm too. glad you're safe. Your parents are happy for you. They're happy to see you. Um, I, I have plenty more I'm curious about, but for now, I think I'm... I'm, I'm spread a little love. I can spread a little love. And, and I think we should. And you know, Jared, I think the first person I'm going to spread some love to is you, my man, because Come I've got on. yeah, I've got some gifts for you. Oh, from Bali! I can't believe I forgot about that. From Bali, <laughs> I literally thought you were about to say like I did something good. Wrapped I was like, this is in a very eloquent country oh, market man. bag for your. Is this bag from Bali person? too? It's not. Okay, good. No. I don't want it to. be. All right, you gotta open it up and tell our viewers what. Yeah, I'll what, put it on the table. Gotcha. I'll, I'll put it right here in front of. So first we have, ooh, this is a Balinese flute, I would imagine. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. How do I even, bl- I blow into it from this side? Here, I can, here, I'll go get mine. Hold up. 
Oh, Chad has one too. Okay, while he's getting that, I'll uh, open something else. I'm going to put this on the floor. I'm not going to step on it because uh, I'm not a clumsy idiot. And how dare you? Oh, wow. My eyes hurt. But hurt good. Can, Can you hold my microphone for a second? Oh, yeah, for sure. So can you tell the people what I'm putting up? So Jared has a loud, beautiful red. Oh, be careful. You got them headphones on. Uh, beautiful red Hawaiian or tropical shirt. Oh, yeah. Loud and proud. Definitely going to rep it. I don't know if it's a weird thing to say about one of my guy friends, but I think Jared looks good in red, so that's why I got him. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't wear a lot of red. Usually my go-to, I feel like I look good color is blue, but I think everyone says that about themselves. That's too that's, easy. That's true. I'm, I'm a blue guy. Should fit you. Oh, yeah. Oh, looking sharp. Looking sharp. Take a seat, buddy. It's very light. Oh, man. this Is, is there more in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course there's more. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. We have a, what is this, a candle? Yes. This is a nice little, uh, like, what do you call those candles that you put on your table that are like, they don't smell like anything, but but they're like a de- decorative kind of? I know of? what you're talking about, but I have no idea what the name okay. is. Okay. A tea, tea light? No. Nope. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I think that's is right. Is that it? Oh, yeah. wow. All right. Yep. Nice little candle. Thank you. Sydney uh-huh. will love this. That's actually, I got the candles more so for your girlfriend than for you, if we're being honest. Another, another candle. Sydney will love these too. She says thank you. Uh, sambal asli. Is this a hot sauce? Yes. It Do you is. enjoy this hot sauce? It's great. Yeah, so I noticed hot sauce. Oh, now I see the hole that you're you're playing the. He's flewed out of. And then we have. Ooh, some some keychain, a, a magnet. I still have your Austria magnet on my. I'm just adding to the collection. I'm starting to feel like my grandma. My grandma's uh. Her fridge and freezer is filled up to the brim of yes. magnets from different cities, and I used yes. to, whenever I traveled, to get her one and stuff like that. Um, thank you very much. I love this. No problem. I, almost, I was going to say I was going to put this on my keychain, but I don't think I will, because I feel like all, the, all that's going to happen is it's going to break. It's yeah. too good for that. Thank you, Chan. You're welcome. This is lovely. Okay, I'm going to give it a try, too, obvi- uh, obviously. Yeah, so I'm attempting to play a Balinese flute here. It's a wood flute made out of uh, bamboo, and there are six holes. No. <laughs> Jared's trying to play right now. <laughs> Why in the world are you holding it down? It's not a saxophone. There you go. There you go. I got it, people. Here yep. we go. Yep. Oh, you got one. One more. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, I think this has reached its limit of entertainment. <laughs> yeah, we'll annoy your parents now. with these later. Oh, yeah. First of all, how has it been being back home? They're Great. not listening, by the way. They might be. By the way, you just got home. Yeah. They picked you up from the airport, obviously. Yep. Wow. Um, did any anything that immediate when you came home, you're like, ah, I don't miss this, like the weather, for example. Although it's very nice today. Well, it. I felt a little spoiled coming from Bali because the that's was fair. So gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really nice today in Michigan. Not too bad. Mm. Um, I like seeing the snow. I kind of like the cold, so I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. I'm not okay. Lie. I have a um I thank you for the gifts by the way. They're no all problem. lovely. No problem. Um I'll 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 let you know how Sydney feels about the candles. She'll nice. she'll love them. And I can't wait to try what tell me about this hot sauce, by the way. This uh, we blew by this because you were blowing into that uh uh flute Bonnie's of yours. Flute. The sambal asli, A B C brand. Yep. So that's just like your standard Indonesian Bali uh chili sauce. You like this? Super good. Okay. Super tasty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I actually, uh, I love this shirt, by the way. I actually forgot it was on because of how light it was. Then yeah, I looked in the no camera kidding. and I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a shout out. Oh, nice. Did you have, you, are you familiar with Bollywood? Not at all. Not one. You've never heard of it? I mean, I've heard of it. But. Bollywood is essentially India's Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bollywood has released its first film with a gay man as a lead actor. Director Hitesh Kowalia says the film is not apologetic about, apologetic about gay love and does not depict it as a problem. A rom-com touted as Bollywood's first film to feature a gay male, male lead character has been released in cinemas. Shub Mangal Ziaba Zav... This is a movie and this is the character you're naming him. Oh, wait, this is, might be his real name. My bad. Uh, Zavdhan, uh, or be extra careful about marriage star, popular actor. I, uh, okay, uh, some actors. I, I'm sorry. I, Ayushman... Kurana as an openly gay man who clashes with his conservative parents over his boyfriend. Homosexual relationships are rarely represented in India, which legalized gay sex in 2018. I, gay sex, interesting. I thought they were about. I thought for a second, as I was saying that, I thought gay I was marriage. reading gay marriage, yeah. and I, <laughs> I kind of did a double take, and I was like, "Oh, I did not realize what I just said there." Um, interesting that they. I never understand that legalization of sex. There are some weird sex rules in the U.S. where it's yeah. like, in some states, it's illegal to like perform fellatio. Right. And it's like, who, who's, who's checking on this? That's a good question. Who's getting arrested for this? Also, a great question. But anyway, I love to see the representation. It matters. I don't care what people say. I agree. As someone Absolutely. that enjoys to see, uh, you know, movies with black leads and like movies where they're not some sort of stereotype and they're just people playing roles. I like to see other people that uh, get get that same shine too. So, you know. Oh, absolutely. You know. Uh, yeah. Seems the most fitting. Definitely. Well, Jared, I think you know what time it is. You don't have a shout out. Uh, you did a, such a great job. I'm gonna save mine for next okay. time. Okay. Okay. That's what I we gave call you a shout out. I think that's true. You're a worthy stand on shout out for today. Did we talk about all the gifts? I think so. We for did. The free gift. That was an accident. Oh, my gosh. Or was it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Or was it? I'm going to start us off, Jared. <clears throat> now, I will tell you and our listeners that these shout-outs are roughly related to where I will be going in September. I'm not oh going my to reveal gosh. this episode where. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Why not, though? Because you because specifically brought the- it up last episode yes. saying... Look forward to next episode where I'll tell you where uh, I'll be going. But. I want to know. But. You've been holding it back for me since I've been here. But. And, and, and clamoring just to then come on the podcast to be like, all right, well, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. I assume you'll tell longer. me after this is over. Yeah. But still. Okay. The reason being is because it's not official yet. Once I have that contract signed uh, or no, I will be having that contract signed. It's not a done deal yet. It's not a done deal, so you don't want to say it out loud, fair. But mm-hmm. you said I might get a hint from these untranslatables. You so, are. but it's it's not as straightforward as you think. It's, it's, it's not just the language. It's not okay. So I I have two Japanese untranslatables for you. Today. Oh my gosh! Woo! Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> my first one is Chad did not find that entertaining. No knockout. <laughs> okay, which means dog and monkey relationship. Is it like the odd couple kind of thing? It's like, oh, you wouldn't expect them to get along, but they're or or they don't get along and they argue a lot. There we go. There we go. They don't oh, get along wow. and they argue okay. a lot. They don't like each other. Okay. Kind of like a cat and dog relationship. Cat and dog. Okay. I wanted to do something uh different. I was thinking, you know, I like to find different languages and I, I what the hell is that? I and I find a, a <laughs> lot. I do find a lot of different languages, and I enjoy that. But I'm like, what are languages I haven't thought of? I'm sure there are a bunch. Hey, and if you know them, and you're looking at me like, hey, listen, I know a bunch of languages you never even touch. Let me know. Yeah, untranslatable know. podcast at gmail.com. Untranslatable podcast on Instagram. Untranslatable one on. Twitter? Twitter? Come on. Anyway, I thought of one. You can probably see it because you don't have I've any sort cheating. of self-control. It's Latin. And there are a bunch of Latin phrases here. I, I find I, we can go through however many you we you want until okay. you get sick of me. <laughs> Sounds good. <clears throat> Arabus teneo lupum. Which means? Holding a wolf by the ears. 
Is that like uh, take a bull by the horns? Um, kind of. What, what? Why? Why are you taking a bull by the horns, Chad? Because you're you're taking initiative. You're facing a problem head on. I don't know. Sure, sure. All right, it's a little more specific than that. It is used to describe an unattainable situation, and in particular, one in which both doing nothing and doing something to resolve it are equally risky. Ah, okay. Holding a wolf by the ears. That makes sense. So maybe it's like you're holding on to the wolf, but it's like there's no way for you to get free because if you do let go of this wolf, it's going to attack you. So it's like you got to do something. So lose, lose, yeah, definitely. But also you're in a situation where you're looking a wolf straight in the face. Um, Give me another one. Okay, I'll give you another one. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Yeah, I talk loud. Yeah, that's fair. I'm, I'll say it. Um, <laughs> have you ever studied Latin in any sense? Have you ever wanted to? Nope. No? Nope. Why? Because it's unusable? I guess. I'd rather study a romance language and then learn a little bit about Latin as I go. I don't know if that's counterintuitive. Is it really just because it's unusable? Because that's kind of what it is for me. It's like, why would I work on a language where I can't even speak to it with right. anyone except for some right. other douchebag th- that knows I th- Latin? I think Latin's good for reading and writing purposes, but... Uh, what yeah. kind of reading English, you mean? It makes you better with understanding words? Words in, in a lot of languages. Any Latin-based, any Latin-based language. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, that's what most... That's what, like, all, like, English, French, Spanish... Italian, yep. Portuguese, all of those are kind of Latin based, aren't they? Yep. Mm-hmm. German then too has some Latin. Because ger- cuz English is German based. Yeah, Germanic. Germanic. Yeah. Okay. They both have some Latin. Give me some more Latin, Jared. <laughs> Barba tinus sapientes. Now, sounds kind of Spanish. Barba. Uh-huh. You happen to have quite the barba yourself. It's a beard. There you go. It's a beard. Okay. A beard. What was it? Tintus Barba tinus sapientis. Okay, what are the last two words? Wise as far as his beard. Oh, that's just to be smart. Be wise. Have lots of wisdom. No? No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. they, they have these big grandiose explanations. Like, just tell me what it is. Come on. A beard does not make a philosopher, Chad. I, I would strongly disagree with that. The statement. beard grows. But the head does not grow wiser. Mm, okay. Do you ever get? Do you ever think about shaving your beard just because you get too concerned that it's become part of your? All the time. Seriously? No, of course uh, not. I love my beard. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to. I thought this. I had some sort of um, moment that we were about that I was about to crack into here. Nope. nope. Um, well, we will crack into another moment because I got some Spanish for you. So, okay. Or some Spanish, some Japanese for you. Okay. So here we go. It is, uh, Norokara tegaderu. Which means uh, my hand is coming out of my throat. Oh, I know what that is because I've used this one before. What does it mean? It means you're very hungry. Well, yes. Hangry. But it also just means you want something incredibly badly. Oh. Well, also, hmm. yeah, you can use it when you're hungry. You so, want food really badly. Okay. But I'm not allowed... What do you want? Re- okay, okay, okay. I just, I want, I, I, I'm just, I was just considering whether I was just gonna blurt out my guess or not of where you're going. Mm. I'm wondering, I'm just trying to figure out how much I respect your wishes. That's all. I mean, you can say it. I just may not answer if it's right. Okay. Or wrong. Let's keep going. Do you have any more translatables? I don't. No. Give me some more Latin. Okay. Brutum fulmen. Which means? Senseless thunder thunderbolt. That's like when you get super angry for no good reason. Yes. Yeah. But. But. More bark than it, your bite. Oh, there we go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Or it's like someone that just blows up and you're like, I'm not going to do shit. Shut up. Right. <laughs> you don't scare me. Jared says that about me all the time. <laughs> Chad is the most. Uh, what's the. What's it when you. Uh, like a pacifistic person mm-hmm. out there. You'll don't do anything fight. to avoid uh, getting to a fight. Yeah, I don't try to get in fights. It's all about <laughs> gotta, gotta be zen, Jared. Yeah, you Come just whip out your flute. You're not, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. Gotta get ready, Jared. This is, I'm gonna take this with me to all the, all the places oh where my I'm gosh. not to use fights. <laughs> oh, wow. 
So your music is beautiful. Now. See, he's calm. Wow. All, all it takes, people. Love. That's what's important. Carpe noctum. What, what does that mean? Well, think about it. Seize. No. Seize is carpe, right? Seize the night. Very good. Very really? good. Parada. See, okay. Because carpe diem is seize the day. Carpe diem is seize the day. Okay. Uh, what do you think that means? That seize the night? Yeah. It means have a good time. No, actually, the complete opposite. It means relax and go to sleep. No, actually, the complete opposite. What does it mean? It means to work into. It means to like work all through the night. Oh, that sounds terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's like to get work done. Seize the night. Okay, makes sense. <clears throat> okay, how were we at? All right. I have some more. Um, that was great. I, maybe I'll do some more of these Latin ones. I enjoy the idea of Latin. Yeah, they're interesting. But it just doesn't seem useful to me. I'm not smart enough for Latin, first of all. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. And I like the idea of using languages I can actually use. But I like hearing Latin. I like connecting Latin to words we know and phrases we know, like carpe noctum. Mm -hmm. Carpe diem is seized today, like make the most of your day, enjoy it. Right. Um, but anyway. All right. Hey, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. We have a friend that I've mentioned to you before. I don't know why I enjoy mentioning this friend to you. Let's just say his name is, I don't know, Ryan M. And um, oh, okay. he, let's, he's, he really enjoys uh, U of M. Uh -huh. He's a big fan of U of M. And he's been talking some serious shit about Michigan State recently. Mm -hmm. Something about a, the coach, maybe? Something about some corruption happening? Do you know what he's talking about? Because he's been in... I could bring it up for you. He's been loving it. On Twitter? Of course. I mean, I, I'd be curious to see some of the... Do you know what he's talking about? I'm curious. Yeah, well, I, all I know is he's talking about Mark, Mark D'Antonio, the head football coach who, who has retired. Okay. Um, and there, there's, there is some litigation, some lawsuit going on about him. Um, I'm not really sure 100% what it's about uh, and what's, how it's unfolding. Um, Pride comes before the fall. Finally realized he'd rarely beat Michigan again. Or maybe it was the alleged NCAA violations and perjury he committed in his uh, deposition last month. Shouldn't recruit sexual predators to your football team. Whatever the reason, bye, Mark. And then he has a wave emoji, middle finger emojis. Mm. And this was on Mark D'Antonio's post saying, Tell Spartans, thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. You have truly helped my dreams come true, and that's uh, and and it's just I just love it. I was I was just wondering what was what was happening over there because okay. he seemed to have some issues. Just curious. I, I think I think uh, I think he's a little salty that D'Antonio has a winning record against <laughs> Michigan. Just saying. Oh my gosh, that's saying, hilarious. I'm tossing now, that out there. Do you ever? Do you see your? Do you is 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 college gossip on the? Uh, employee level a big deal is that a big thing is there a lot of gossip happening do you have to do you find yourself having to avoid it getting into it not seeing it do people stay on their best behavior i think for the i think there's always going to be a little bit of gossip wherever sure. you go um there's but, a lot of gossip in my business and it makes me very uncomfortable mm, i bet you it's all about you jared all the gossip well, that's is the all thing. about you I mean that is part of it where it's like they, they like the people that I hear do, doing this gossip they seem to like me mm -hmm. but it also keyword there is seem and also I'm hearing the conversations they have when I'm around right there's plenty of times when I'm not there and that's what I hate about gossip more than anything is where I was like yeah you guys are like oh no you're cool you're cool and, and that's the thing this also sounds like I'm in high school you know these are adults I'm dealing with too and it's like I hate the I hate the gossip because I'm like oh god what am I doing wrong Right. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I'll bet. I feel like teachers are, are ripe with gossip. I know uh, grade school teachers are, I think, more than maybe a professional. And you travel a lot. Like, you're never... I, yeah, I, I only interacted with my colleagues in China when it was in between classes. So the longest we'd have is like 15 minutes mm -hmm. to chat. Speaking of which, uh -huh. congratulations. Congratulations on your new job. I cannot wait to see you uh, off to Russia. You're close. Okay. Uh, anyway, you know, I've been thinking. You have a lot of free time. Does that? What do you? What? What kind of? What kind of? What do you see happening over the next? Now, you 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 said you can't tell us where you're going, even though we do know it's South Korea. It's obvious. Congratulations. 
<laughs> <laughs> That's very exciting. Their internet is very good. I'm very I'm looking forward to that. You know what country has better Chad's internet? Chad's face it looks like it's about to explode, and it puts a smile on my face. You know what country has even better internet, though? Singapore? Uh-huh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said that uh, you'd be leaving in like uh, September. Sep- September time, mm-hmm. ideally speaking. Yep. Yep. I thought about what you should do with your free time because you do have Ooh, yeah. some spending money. Not much. Sure. Sure. Not much. But enough to have a good time once in a while. You do have a reliable vehicle. Yep. Is Vic still reliable? Is still good to go? Took took my car for a spin today. No problems. Pop turned it on. One one twist. Yep. One twist. Okay. Ready to go. That's good then. I like reliable. to hear that. I like to hear yep. that. Yep. Um, Vic, probably on. It's like how much longer do you see yourself having Vic? Well, because eighty thousand miles on it. Okay, it's in good shape. But you don't. Like, how often do you see yourself being in the United States in the next? However, for foreseeable years is what it is. That's a great question. All right. I'm not sure. Well, only time will tell, buddy. That's yeah. all I can say. What are the import laws for cars to South Korea? Uh, I think it's, pr- I would rather buy a car over there, I think. Do you need any sort of shots to move to sh- South Korea? I mean, well, when I go to the Philippines, I'll be usually taking a rickshaw. So can you, are you going to the Philippines? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to Singapore. Can you drink the water in South Korea? Uh, I think I think the water is safe in Ukraine. I think so. <laughs> so. Ukraine is not even on the list. You cheater! You, you never know. Okay, this you is a know fun what's on game. My list. I enjoy this. I enjoy this. You're fun. You're fun. But yeah, things to do. Uh, things but, to do. Oh yeah, right. So, I was thinking, all these places you go, no matter where you go, mm-hmm. people always ask you. Uh, you're always kind of the, the the, unofficial ambassador for america people always ask you questions people always ask you why do americans do this what is it like in this part of america right. why is it like this who yep. does it? i think uh, i think you need to take advantage of these next however many months and become a proper ambassador of, of the of the united states okay and how would you suggest me doing that jared i'd say uh traveling around the united states mm, i like that just buy a motorhome and go Hit the road. Well, you have a perfectly functional Vic out there with only 80,000 miles on True. it. True. Are you trying to get me to sleep in my car? We're going to rough it, Jared? Why is why is this such a crazy idea? It's not a crazy idea. Um, but I think I'm going to first spend some time with friends and family here in Michigan before I travel. I'm not telling you to leave tomorrow, Chad. Sure sounds like it, Jared. <laughs> Chad, Saw you for one day. That's enough, Chad. <laughs> leave. Get out of here. <clears throat> I don't mean you have to go anytime soon. I'm, I'm just thinking of, I was just thinking of a good way to spend some of your time. And I'm not even saying, I, you, make it, uh, you make it seem like I just say like, hey. Get out of here. It's currently uh, February. How about you just leave uh, March 1st? That gives you a good week being home. Right. Come back August 30th. And then just travel that entire time. I'm not saying that. That's crazy. Right. All I'm saying is, you know, go to. I got a few think. places I want to visit if you're curious. Oh, okay. Nashville, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I would love to see Austin, Texas, but that's kind of a quite a ways away. Would you try? You seem to have an aversion to traveling by yourself. I've learned. Now, this is something it would be. Not, would you? Would you travel by yourself? See, I'm putting words in your mouth. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think it's just more fun to not travel by yourself, sure. especially if it's a, if it's a long road trip. You can split shifts driving. Road trips are exponentially better if you have someone with you always for sure yeah, without a doubt yeah and it's just safer too really mm-hmm. i um gotta use that good old buddy system you know yeah yeah um who would you go with would you because now i know you obviously want to travel with your girlfriend mm-hmm. she's a lovely lady i'm sure i'm sure she's great chad i cannot wait to meet her i'm sure she'll be in the united states at some point hopefully soon we'll see but you can't let that holds you back you know <laughs> okay like you can't wait for her to come here to do anything and once again that doesn't mean you have to leave tomorrow jared's saying leave the day after tomorrow let's think of some good close places i need to think of some good close places madison uh, wisconsin have never that's been great there. that would be cool that's great 
That's great. Um, uh, once I get St. Paul new, or Minneapolis maybe. in Minnesota. Once I get that new passport, hop on over to Windsor. Well, when does your passport expire? Well, I'm gonna get a new one. It expires in 2021, but it'll be halfway through okay, my contract sure, sure, when sure. I'm abroad. Oh, I meant to ask you this. Do you have pre-check, global entry? I need to sign up for those as well. I was considering signing up for Nexus. Do you know what Nexus is? No, what's that? Nexus is a Canadian one. Okay. And I, from what I've heard, now this is not meme news, but I haven't looked it up. Uh-oh, so it might be meme news. That's what you're saying. Well, I heard it from someone that seems relatively reliable. But Nexus gives you a, a quick access to Canada. There's a special lane that I've seen when I've driven to Canada because I've been to Canada since I've been back. Mm-hmm. There's a special lane, and uh, so you can get into Canada quicker. But it also gives you uh, global entry, okay. which I think also gives you pre-check. Really? Oh, okay. So it's a way to check all your bases by doing one thing. Yes, and I think you can get it within a month. So I think I might try to get that before I go uh, abroad myself. Oh, good call. Yeah. Canada's a good place to go, though. In Canada, even though it is just a hop, skip, and a jump away, mm-hmm. you do feel like you're, like, you, it Somewhere does still else, feel eh? like you're, like, uh, interna- tra- I mean, you are traveling internationally, right. but it does feel very different country, like, even though it's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm 30 minutes from home. At least, for me, I can be 30 minutes from home right. and in Canada. I really, I really like Canada, though. Uh, it's a nice Have you place. been to Toronto? Uh, I need to go. Toronto's great. So yep. it's oh, it's honestly it's probably a little closer than Chicago too. Yep. So this is weird because I would love to travel with you. You know, I would love to um, just quit your job. We'll travel around as as homies. Well, that's not even the good. problem. Like a place like Toronto, that could be a long weekend trip. A place like Chicago, sure. but I also have a girlfriend. You know. It feels kind of weird taking all these trips with you. Just bring, just bring her along. Can we do a third wheel situation? Is that weird? Sure. Or do it when my girlfriend gets here. I've never done that. Have you ever double, done that before? Dating it? Uh, no, not really. That seems very scary to me. We have a friend. Let's say his name is I don't know Don. He wants me to. <laughs> uh, he wants me and my lady friend to come travel to where he lives. Let's say it's, I don't know, Colorado. Colorado? Hmm, oh, that's a good guess. I just made, pulled, we just pulled that out of our butts at the same time. <laughs> and that makes me very nervous, you know, because Why? that's a big commitment. What we're going to be staying with them. Uh-huh. Um, it's what, just, what are you worried about, though? I, I, don't, <laughs> I, we, I don't want my vacation to be dictated on having to hang out with two other people. You know, mm. I want to be able to do my own thing at some point. I want to have right. some freedom, some comfort. I don't want to be sleeping in their. Yeah, not, know, not in their, allowed, Jared. You're with your friends. I want to have. I want to have uh, towels. I want to have. Um, <laughs> Just get a hotel room. Then. Good, exactly. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, I see what you're saying. So don't stay with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But then I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's, it's just, I don't really like. I get nervous about double dates. I think I'm just un- uncomfortable personally because it's like if this goes wrong, it's gonna get weird fast. Yeah, but I mean, if you've been together with the person for a while, it will probably all it's be not, fine. Oh, it's they're not the problem. It's me. No, I'm kidding. That's <laughs> you're not wrong, so, Jared. How do you feel about the road tripping? Good, but I don't know, man. I feel like uh, I feel like until I can get a steady part time gig here, where I get a little bit more income coming in, I probably won't consider a road trip just yet. Okay, but it'd be fun. Uh, as I said, Nashville's on the list. Memphis is on the list. Um, what do you have? You, any more thoughts into the steady income thing? Any any gigs? Probably just part time online teaching is the plan. Oh right, right, right. But not with VIP kids. Probably not. No. F. It's actually FVIP kids is what it really should be. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm not in this industry. I don't care. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can say, um, oh, God. I had something to say right until I started. And so, oh, you know, I was doing some deep podcast research of our own, on our own sort of uh, numbers and stuff. And I noticed, you know, I always fear, you know, there's nothing I fear more than asking you to get involved with the podcast. Mm-hmm. But hear me out. I was looking at the numbers, and I'd say three or four of our top ten episodes of all time uh-huh. have been travel tips episodes. Really? Okay. And I thought, it's Chad's time to back. Get back in them. Chad's got nothing better to do with his time. That's true. And maybe so we can do travel tips ep- episodes again. Yeah, why not? Because I, sure. I I can't in good faith take on more. I wouldn't editing. expect you to. But 
if you would do them, that would be nice. I noticed that people seem to like them. No one, no one talks to us. Please let us know. But I look at the numbers, and the numbers don't lie, right? As Shakira would say. <laughs> um, so I thought we could do that again, and maybe we don't even have to do travel tips all the time. We could think of something else we could throw in there Scary. every now and again, because we, we I, I don't know. But um, I thought that would be a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I already think of some places we could do some travel tips on. So sounds good. Yeah. Who have you talked to since you've been back? What what friends have you talked to? Or yeah, I mean, I've been back such a short time. Just sure. a couple couple of close sure. close friends. Um, yeah, still a lot of people I need to reach out to, but doesn't help that I've had this weird sleep schedule. Went to bed uh, last night at like eight, woke up at midnight. I was up until 4 a.m., mm. and then 4 o'clock, I fell back asleep until 8 a.m. So, Is there such thing as a reverse sort of um, uh, uh, re- re- re-immersion for your stomach? Like, like when, you, when you come back and all of a sudden start eating this, this Western food right. and gorging yourself, I imagine? So far, so good. Okay. No problems yet. So okay, okay, so okay. What 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 I have, what what was the first thing you ate when you get, got back? Any, any was it was in was it something that you specifically were like, "Ooh, yes," or was it just yep. like, "Yep." Of I, course it was. You're you Chad gets what he wants. Take, He's an, essentially take, an only child. Take a take a guess, Jared Boy. Don't say it was White Castle or some garbage like White that. White Castle. I had a garbage burger with some garbage fries on. No. Oh, okay. So I landed I landed <laughs> Metzger's at, or something? Uh, That's I wish, nice. I wish. I landed at like 9:30 a.m. Okay, so, so you had all day. You so, get to get So what do you think I got though? Oh, okay, so it was something breakfasty. Uh-huh. No, like IHOP or something. I don't know. Denny's. Do you do you go in for that quicker, kind of stuff? Quicker. Quicker. No, McDonald's breakfast. Yes, sir. Like a like a McGriddle or something. Sausage McMuffin and a hash brown. Oh my baby. gosh, Chad. So good. You can so get tasty. that in in Asia, can't Not you? The same. Not the same. Doesn't what is wrong with you? Doesn't taste the same, bro. <laughs> it doesn't. I promise you, it does not taste the same. Speaking of which, I don't think we talked about. In the episodes while we, while I was in Bali, how bomb the KFC was there, dude. We did mention that you got the... The pizza. Yes, the pizza. The chicken pizza, which was was great. there Was there other stuff? Oh, yeah, dude. All sorts of stuff. Well, first of all, they don't... You, you don't eat, like, with ketchup on your fries. You have sweet chili sauce. Okay. So that's super good. Similar to the ABC sauce? Yep. yep. Okay. Like mm-hmm. this. Yep. Sauce I got Jared. But but this is not very good at dipping. This is not dippable. Yeah, it's, it's not ketchup esque. Uh, it has a consistency. It, oh, it does. It's it's yeah. not it's not saucy. It's not I, I imagine it to be more hot saucy than ketchupy. Uh it depends on the type. Okay. Um but yeah, so so yeah, so I, that was my first meal back in the States was <laughs> McDonald's Jeez. breakfast. You're probably gonna go to uh, Taco to Bell American. tomorrow or something. Uh no, eating at home, saving money. Do you um are are you very concerned about money? Not very concerned. Not very, but I'm trying to be smart with it. Can we go out and get some drinks or something? Nope. Okay. No drinks. No fun. No fun um, allowed, Jared. Only podcasting <laughs> and, and FIFA. I don't know. Maybe we can only like, hang out at home. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. Do you Have you ever been out in, in Ferndale before? I haven't. Okay. Yeah, because you've been to my place. Yep. But I feel like we didn't go anywhere. Nope. We were just podcasting and relaxing. All right. All right. I'm just, I'm just thinking. You know, I'm thinking about... I, 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 I feel like I'm nervous for you about a sedimentary lifestyle. It seems so easy. Are you going to get into shape? You call me fat? Watch it. You call me fat? <laughs> that timing was amazing. <laughs> you call me fat? I guess yes, apparently. <laughs> 175, 176. That's pretty good, actually. Not That's bad. Pre- I mean, I, no, I actually wasn't calling you fat. But I really, you know, I, I, I'm getting, you know, this is, so, is going to sound no, so we, stupid. No, I was going to say I'm getting closer and closer to starting to work out. Oh, it's there we go. So cl- there stupid because we we're, uh, um, <laughs> we're about into March at this point. Right. Um, Your New Year's resolution was going to the gym. And you yeah, but I March. didn't do it in January on purpose because I didn't want to look like one of those guys, you know. But now <laughs> That's fair. But then I now did. Can I was telling to Sydney, my girlfriend, no better time to start than Black History Month, you know. That's true. Make my ancestors proud. February, baby. None of these racists can F with me because I'm nice and ripped. That's right. Come get it. Michael B. Jordan style. Oh, yeah. No one would mess with No, you, not Michael B. Sure. Jordan style. I know. Sorry. I was thinking Black Panther where, <laughs> I mean, he was very, I guess, quote unquote, woke, but it also led to him being a deranged murderer. True. That's the Michael B. Jordan I was thinking when you, mm, when you brought that gotcha. up was the Black Panther one. 
Uh, you also said you wanted to make a new theme song for the Untranslatable yep. podcast. Oh, I forgot to mention. You know, it's so funny. It's nice to it's nice to be here with you. We have a, we we kind of have a routine of things we like to do. We like to play FIFA. We always podcast together, of course. Mm-hmm. We um, also used to play music together a lot. Yep. Now you asked me when I got to your place. When's the last time you played? Um, piano and i said hmm when did i move to michigan from philadelphia that was july and that was the last time i played piano and then you proceeded to set up the piano and i got so nervous i and i'm still as i look at the piano because it's right behind the yep. camera we're gonna makes play me so nervous. We're done recording oh so i gotta go nervous. it's way too late it's past my <laughs> bedtime oh no i i just i have been looking for a piano teacher actually as of recently but it just it doesn't make me very nervous now You'll get you'll get back on the horse. I think it will be good. All right, all um, right. But yeah, but I think the reason why you brought that up is uh, music is definitely something I'm trying to spend my time with. Sure, but that's e- that's 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 Easy same answer. old same old. Yeah. Have you? It seems like you haven't played guitar since you've been back. No, but I got back yesterday. Right, right. But still. Yeah. I mean, set all my gear up today. Yeah, that made me uncomfortable too. I was like, oh, I can't hang with this. <laughs> this is serious business. All right, Chad. Let's get into the uh, song of the pod. Let's do it. It is a song by the Wonder Girls called Why So Lonely. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is a, I guess you call it a K-pop band? K-pop that plays reggae music? Yes. Now, are they popular? How many? Oh, my gosh. I'd say that's a yes. Yep, 38 million views. 30 million 14. views. 14.8. Well, this is an entertainment channel. Right, but that's still solid views. Yeah, oh, great views. This yeah. is great vibes. I like the soft mm-hmm. um, the soft Korean voices mm-hmm. along with that reggae vibe. It's kind of a... That's not a clash. You just don't really usually hear that kind of K-pop style with reggae. Right. At least I don't. Right. It sounds nice, too, the Korean with the kind of mm-hmm. reggae. And then the chorus is kind of... Yeah, chorus is more reggae, but the bridge is a little rock feely. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of got like a like a early two thousands rock vibe to it, and a little yeah. bit in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, you know, it it'll be good to brush up on your K-pop. Right. That's a, that was a great great choice. It was. And you know, you really did not embrace the music when you were in China. That disappointed me a lot. All right, you got to turn this off. It's driving me crazy. You did not embrace the music when you were in China. Um, but K-pop is, I mean, that's internationally, that's world renowned. Like that stuff, you can come back here and be like, oh, I got really got into blah, blah, blah. And some, I don't know, some 14 year old girl will be like, oh, I love blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, not that that's maybe, all right, that's not a great. Not not the best example. It's not the great selling point. No. Um, I have an Italian word, a phrase of the pod. Nice. I would like to learn Italian, at least some past some phrases to get me by. So I'm trying to think. So I'm not just gonna do straight up words of the pod. I'm trying to think of things that are actually useful. Yeah, I wish I had translate on my little drop phone here, but I don't. But that's okay. We'll just use the power of my uh, imagination with this. Uh, Mi piacerebbe. Mi piacerebbe. Which means? Piacerebbe, one of those two. I would like. Oh, that's an important one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is a very, very important yes, one. Yes, I would like. Do you have a, any sort of word or anything Not you'd yet. like to give us? Not yet. Okay. Soon. Hmm. In the, oh. In the future. Mm-hmm. We also have to plan a time to go to Schwitz, the, uh, the, the uh, bathhouse here. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. The one in Detroit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can get some beers. You know, chill in the chill in the sauna. Yes, it's very refreshing. Have you ever done the cold plunge before? No, sounds like fun though. I'm assuming you just jump into cold water. I've never seen someone jump in, but I guess you, you can just submerse yourself. Yeah, like yeah. I was too scared. I was too scared. Really? To. I got into it. I was too scared to jump in, uh, but I didn't see anyone else jump in. Did you do a lot of deep breathing. I was really. In? I was in there for like it was more like a in and out kind of thing. Like I was in okay. for maybe thirty seconds, and I was okay. like, this is. Uh, and there was a guy in there that was just fully like up, up to, to his, his neck, neck, just just uh-huh. calmly sitting there looking at me. And I, in his head, he was just like, like, "You baby, weak. yeah, right, yeah." Yep. And I was like, "You're right, sir. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the warm saunas. That's easy. I can do that." Um, all right, Chad. Do you have any any anything you would like to say? Any closing words? 
Uh, yeah. Well, it's been uh, a long journey, but I'm happy to be home. Uh, good to see you again. I hope you enjoy the gifts. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Most definitely. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm curious to see now, you know, every time I come home after a trip abroad, um, there's always a little bit of reverse culture shock. Sure. I'm curious to see. Am I too loud? Is that what it is? Very loud. Jared's <laughs> loudness has been driving me crazy. I'm walking around with noise canceling headphones in while Jared's been here. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. It, I will tell you already. I drove my car a bit today. It was weird. Was that scary? Car again? Yeah. <gasps> right. Haven't done going it in thirty six on months. a forty-five. That's right. <laughs> going fifteen and a fifteen. Uh, just along, I mean, you're in the perfect right. car for it. People expect you to be a grandmother That's anyway. That's true. Maybe I just need to buy a gray wig and I'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, people will give you a break. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good to be home. Um, I'm curious to see how uh, this fun employment will pan out. Hmm. Um, definitely looking forward to spending some time with you, uh, jamming out a little bit here and there, learning that new language to the destination that will not yet be named. Anio. Hopefully, hopefully by the next, well, probably not the next episode, but um, the fo- so two episodes or three episodes from now, hopefully I'll be able to officially let you know where I'll be going. Okay. And I will officially let you know probably... Well, at least our listeners know via a word of the pod. Jared will probably be able to actually get the answer out of me, I think. He's pretty persuasive when he wants to be. Do you want to not tell me until you reveal it on the pod? Is that what you would like to do? It doesn't seem like you have this sort of self-control. You couldn't even can keep it to yourself before we started recording. Come to find out you're not even going to tell me anyway. Have I told you yet? You probably have said it. <laughs> maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I mean, it could be Russia. It could be. Could be a lot of places. Could be the Philippines. Could be Korea. Could be Thailand. Could be Korea. I'm starting. I think it's Korea. Could be Ukraine. It's not Ukraine. Could be Japan. You're not going to Ukraine. Why not? What's wrong with Ukraine? Oh, there's nothing wrong with Ukraine, but you're not going to Ukraine. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Who knows? Wrap but, up uh, the episode. Stay. Stay tuned. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you, Coach. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, no, I just want to stop guessing. Go right. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I am curious though, uh, um, for all of our listeners out there, let us know what you like to do. I know we've talked about fun employment before, but, uh, if you have any tips for me while I'm back in Michigan, maybe there's some very uniquely Michigan things I have somehow forgotten about and need to do while I'm at home. Uh, or if you have any tips or tricks of what you like to do during skiing, your fun have you ever skied? I have. I'm a terrible skier. Yeah, skiing's kind of expensive anyway. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry, that's but, a bad yeah. example. Anyways, let us know at untranslatablepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, slide into our DMs on Twitter, untranslatable1, the number one, uh, for all sorts of great wit and humor by my buddy Jared. <clears throat> also, check out our song of the pod, which was uh, Wonder Girls, uh, Why Am I So Lonely, or Why So Lonely. Uh, check that out on our song of the pod playlist, untranslatable podcast. And lastly, please let us know, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice at the end of the episode. Let us know what we can do to make this podcast better for you. So five-star reviews on iTunes and Stitcher, and let us know. So as we say here at the Untranslatable Podcast, Yakuyeme, muchas gracias, and shishit. <laughs>